Some things in life are just made to go together. Peanut butter and jelly, rock and roll, the sun and the moon. These things got Blake Sanders, the owner of KS Services, thinking. What can we pair with our superior heating and air service to make our customers even happier? Plumbing Experts by KS Services was born. So the next time you have a clog line, leaky faucet, or water running all through the house, know there's a reputable company out there on call just a click away. Call KS.com, your trusted source for heating and cooling and now plumbing. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition. This is for Monday, September 9th. I'm James Spann. Alabama's weather stays hot this week and prospects of widespread rain not that good for a while. Here's the upper look this morning. As you might expect, there is a ridge in place here across the southeastern states that is going to keep us up in the 90s this week. We are starting off the day in the upper 60s in Birmingham. Look at Mobile with low 80s. Not exactly a cool, crisp September morning. Highs today, mid-90s in most spots, maybe upper 90s in a few places. We've got a heat advisory for parts of southeast Alabama. That's where the heat index could be higher statewide, but everybody's going to be hot today. No mistake about that. Could be a few isolated storms, mainly for the southern two-thirds of the state today, but no organized severe weather. The chance of that is way up north. This is tomorrow. And this is Wednesday. We're in the green. That means there could be a few isolated storms. But again, widespread rain not expected. Speaking of rain, this is the rain for the next seven days. The big numbers up north, Minnesota, Wisconsin, parts of upper Michigan. Down here, that's not too encouraging. We all could use some rain. Rain amounts under a quarter inch for the north, under one half inch in most places for the south. All right, tropical fans, let's check things out. Uh, Dorian is finally off the board. Got uh, Tropical Storm Gabrielle up in the North Atlantic that is accelerating northeast. Obviously, no threat to the United States. These other two that are out there, uh, that little disturbance that's north of the Leeward Islands, uh, that's moving in the general direction of the Bahamas. And the Hurricane Center giving this only a low chance of developing over the next five days. But we always have to keep an eye on that. This is the climatological peak of the season and the one out there in the middle of the Atlantic between Africa and the Lesser Antilles now the Hurricane Center has lowered that to just a low chance of development at one point there was a high chance but it looks like a strong winds aloft could tear that wave up in fact this is the European output for that wave this is Invest 94 L and really most of the European ensemble members show this thing fizzling out totally and just going away in a few days. So we'll keep an eye on that, but it looks like maybe not a big threat. Let's check the GFS. This is the 06E run, 4 o'clock this afternoon at 500 millibars. Ridging here, trough back in the northwest, and it's just going to be hot. Maybe a few isolated storms across the southern part of the state. This is tomorrow. Not much change. High should be in the 90s. Any showers isolated. Wednesday, same thing. We'll be up in the 90s. Chance of any one spot getting a shower, only 15 20%. Same thing Thursday and the same thing Friday. We should have promise you a cool, refreshing air mass coming down the pike. We just don't see that this week for sure. This is Saturday as the weekend begins. Now we're getting into mid-September here, and there's a front north of the state near the Kentucky-Tennessee border, but that still looks dry. We're going to mention isolated showers for the weekend, and this is Sunday. Maybe a little better chance as the ridge begins to weaken, so the door might open up for heat levels to come down, rain chances to go up beginning Sunday, and this is Monday. You can see how the ridge begins to shift off to the west. We have troughing to the north, and again, We'll mention scattered showers and storms on Monday with a mixture of clouds and sunshine. Let's go out 10 days. This is Wednesday of next week, the 18th. Troughing over the northeast, ridging off to the west, and that looks fairly dry. And we note the GFS develops our little wave around the Bahamas. That's the wave that's currently northeast of the Leeward Islands. But again, we stress this is nothing but voodoo. We'll just keep an eye on it. Here's a look at the ensemble output from the GFS for Birmingham in terms of rain. The mean, one to one and a half inches. And again, the model is just giving us a signal that rain chances will be higher over the latter half of September. And the numbers, 90s this week, highs next week. 
hopefully dropping back in the 80s. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. You can not catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today.